We're going to say good morning to our first live guest of the local vibe. This is exciting. The Greensboro mm -hmm. Swarm is the NBA G League affiliate of the Charlotte Hornets and their first two games of the season kick off this weekend or should I say tip off? Yeah, tip off. Tip, tip off, off this more weekend, appropriate, yes. right? So you can catch the dynamic <laughs> team playing at the Greensboro Coliseum Complex. They have a lot of fun planned for fans who want to attend. It's always a good time. Here with us now is Greensboro Swarm President Steve Swatoa. Good morning, Steve. Thanks for spending some time with us today. Good morning, Brian. Good morning, Audrey. Thank you for having us. Absolutely. So, Steve, you recently extended the lease to keep the team in Greensboro at the Coliseum Complex. Why is Greensboro such a good fit for the Swarm? Well, Brian, we're 90 minutes away from our parent club in Charlotte. Number two, uh, Greensboro has opened their arms up back in when we started here, 16, 17. We are excited. This city has supported us over the years, and we look forward to continued success. It's just a great basketball market. It's just a great market period. And um, there's there's so many things to do here. And uh, we're just excited and appreciative of Matt Brown, Scott Johnson, and the city council, Mayor Vaughn, and everybody else uh, uh, working with us and extending our lease through 27, 28. Uh, so great stuff. And Steve, you know, having quality basketball in North Carolina, also you mentioned the triad, you know, Hornets included in our mm -hmm. state. How do you specifically target local fans to get people excited to come out and see the Swarm play? Well, great question. You know, basketball fans, certainly, Audrey, is, is the most important, but families and, and, and basketball fans and just people that may be fans of the ACC or other college basketball uh, that they see uh, in and around the city and around the, the nation. Um, you know, it's just a great opportunity to come out and catch great basketball. Matter of fact, uh, you know, uh, Mark Williams, our number one pick from Duke this past season with the Hornets, was was called here late last night. So he will be playing here this weekend. So fans of Duke that have followed him for uh, his short college career at Duke may have interest in coming and, and checking him out this weekend. We've had a lot of ACC players come through this facility. And not to mention a lot of uh, NBA players that are currently on the roster with the Hornets that have played here, have increased, improved their game, and are making an impact with our team uh, in Charlotte. So basketball fans, fans in general, sports fans, families, it's affordable opportunity to come out and watch great basketball. Yeah, that's a really good point, Steve. Now, G League basketball can be really, really exciting. You never know who's going to come through yeah. town and, and play here. But if the players can't get you excited about it, some of the promotions <laughs> that you guys offer up certainly can. So tell us, which promotion are you most excited about this year? Well, uh, Brian, there's a couple. One, we're bringing back our uh, post-game autograph sessions after every Saturday night home game oh, for 30 great. minutes. Um, we, we couldn't do that last year because of the pandemic situation. Uh, two, we are bringing out a new promotion this year, free play. So every Friday night, 30 minutes after the game, instead of coming out and having a quick shot on the court and go home, uh, we're going to have you play on the court for 30 minutes. We're going to see how that goes. It could be uh, controlled chaos, um, but we're excited <laughs> about that. Um, we're bringing back our Friday uh, Fieldhouse Fridays, dollar hot dogs, $2 sodas, $2 Natty Lights. Um, and then we're coming back with uh, a new program, five theme nights this year, where jerseys will be worn. We're going to raise a lot of money for charity. Uh, military night is a week from Friday. Um, as you know, we open up tomorrow, uh, Friday night and Saturday night this week in Greensboro, November 4 and 5 against Delaware. Um, HBC night will be theme night. Hornets takeover will be a theme night. Frontline workers will be a theme night. And so we're looking forward to some really cool promotions this year. It's a great, if you guys have been to a game, it's intimate, there's not a bad seat in our building. Mm -hmm. And we are so excited that Novant Health has uh, put their name on our building uh, for the, the life of our lease here in Greensboro. So we're pretty excited about that as well. Steve, lastly, what is your vision for the Swarm, you know, going forward to help grow its brand and overall success, even extending up to the Hornets? Yeah, great question. You know, first and foremost, we're here to develop our players to get to Charlotte, but also to develop those guys that come here. Last year, our top three picks, Book Knight, Thor, and um, um, at JT Thor and Kai Jones and Book Knight, they all played here. Um, they improved their game. They got better over the summer. They're making a huge impact with, our, with the Hornets right now. Um, we want to win. Uh, that's certainly important for our fan base too, but uh, we believe we can win and develop at the same time. And so hopefully you'll start seeing that more and more and more, but um, 
it works both ways. We help the Hornets, the Hornets help us. It's a great relationship, and uh, we're excited for the 22-23 uh, season. We are too, Steve. Great to have you on the local vibe. Thank you for your time. Folks at home this weekend, the Greensboro Swarm will go up against the Delaware Blue Coats. You have two chances to catch them at the Greensboro Coliseum Complex. The website is on your screen now to get your hands on some of those tickets to Friday or Saturday's game. Very cool. Thanks again, Steve.